man ang lost for. Why? That is Balak and Balaam doctrine. We cannot go there. You have to have a sanctified mind, a disciplined mind. That's why when the, the, the yoga say empty yourself. To go to what? Transcendental? Well, we have full our minds with the word of God. We full them empty. So they could lost. We have to full our mind and be active. Let our mind be strong. And we don't have to eat things, sacrifice the idols, all, all these things. The church of Thyatira, the church identified himself as the son of God. Revelation, their sin was in Revelation 2, 20, 21. J- Jabel's spirit influence was, was the influence behind the scene. Jabel, ja, not Jabel, Jezebel. Jezebel's spirit was behind the scene. Okay, she wanted to, she wanted to control things. Okay, she wanted to control things. One of her doctrine, I believe, was, was this. She wanted to teach on warfare. It, 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 the, 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 the first doctrine comes to the truth. If you don't know this, you you can fall for it. One of the doctrines was this. To know evil, to know evil, to come, to come against evil, you have to know evil. And to know evil, you have to get a taste of it. And that you can understand it. And, and many people in the assembly, they, they, they went to, to get a taste of evil and they remain lost. Because sin sweet, but it's only for a time, it's for a season. So when they go on to taste, and this was Jezebel's doctrine, to, to combat and come against the enemy, to come against the devil, you have to know the devil. And, therefore, and they, once the thing went on, she was influencing the church. So Jezebel is very serious and dangerous. They had a success in verse 26 and 28. In Revelation, they had the saddest church. The sin was in uh, Revelation 3.1. Genesis 3, 1, Sardis, Church of Sardis, the sin was in 3, 1. The solution was in chapter 3, verse 2 and 3. The strength was in verse 4, and the success was in verse 5. I'll talk, to, I'll talk too fast, so you'll get your record. Yeah. Right? So, I want to finish. They had the Philadelphia Church, the strength and the suffering. This was a faithful church. They went through persecution after persecution also. And Jesus didn't find no fault in this church. Okay, they were the pillar and the success. And there are Laodicea church who believe that they were so rich and God blessed them because they had uh, four by four and they had big house and they had it. They were rich. They had gold. They had silver. And, you know, they was waiting for their commendation, what, what, the, what, the, what the pastor will read out, what God, what Jesus said. And they was waiting for their commendation, how God blessed them. And, they were, and God started with a rebuke. He didn't start off with no, uh, no um, commendation. He started with a rebuke. He started rebuking them. He said, you think you're rich, you're poor, you're wretched, you're blind, you're naked. He started to rebuke them. He started to rebuke them. He said, repent. So material, that's why I don't think on material thing. I don't build doctrine on material thing. God bless me, God bless me. What I don't have, I don't have. I know he could take care of me every day and my family. Anyway, so I won't leave, I won't leave Jesus to go for material thing. I leave many jobs, you know, because it take my Sunday, sometimes it take my Wednesday. I, I leave, I, I, I suffer some consequences. Today, I have a good job. Thank God. Latter days shall be greater. God knows how to redeem your time. So you bless. Okay? So God praise them. No praise, no commendation, no affirmation for them. They were cold. They, they were cold. And they, they, God said, be cold or hot. God didn't want them lukewarm. They were lukewarm. They were lukewarm. And to, come, to close up my message, the value of these letters is to help us to examine our own lives. The strength and sins attributed to these churches may be found here and in other churches. Get back to Bible study. Get back to fellowship. Get back to worship. Get back on your knees in prayer. The spiritual discipline leads us back to full love in Christ. Take communion worthy. The Lord's table cultivate reverence. Gratitude, purity, anticipation, anticipation of his coming. Okay? So when we take communion, we take it with gratitude. We expect it. We ought to be pure and holy. We don't take it anyhow. It's meaningful. It's meaningful. Don't take light lightly. From the moment that cup rests on your lip and you live in our life for Christ, our holy life, you start reaping the benefits that come with it. Sorry, there are benefits in taking communion. So we just don't take it. Anyhow, all faithful service for Christ will never be forgotten. Amen? All faithful service for Christ will never be forgotten. 
Uh, we could have spent more time going to the church. I could tell you, but his eyes look like, like a flaming fire. And why he's like a flaming fire? Why, what he's searching for in the church? What Christ is searching for? He's searching for holiness. Be holy, for I am holy. And he's searching. Why he walked down the pews and he take record. He record every single person. If Jesus were to comment this assembly, what will he write? What will he write? What will he write to Pastor Movin to tell us? If he have to make his commendation and his rebuke and his success, what will he write? What will what pastor will come one day and tell us what Jesus write? Amen. God bless you and I hope that you enjoy this message today. It's for me and it's for all of us. Okay? Because we live in a fallen world and we strive in day by day. Transforming our thinking. Okay? Can you all stand? Praise the Lord. Could you lift our hands towards heaven? Just worship the Lord. Love Him. Tell the Lord from where you have fallen. He called it a fall. When He said, remember from where you have fallen, He called it a fall. So remember and worship the Lord. And right where you are today, you can make that right. You don't have to come to the altar. You can make that right, right where you are and start acting as some this evening. Hallelujah. Just worship the Lord. Worship. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just worship the Lord.
worship you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Are you blessed this morning? Give Jesus Christ a good clap offering. He deserves it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you going to come out this evening to walk, the prayer walk this evening? Everybody going to drop by the Savannah, 5 o'clock. Drivers will come to the car park with their vehicle. But the junior will pick up the drivers, take, bank, they, take them down, and we'll walk into prayer. We will stop certain points and we will pray. And after this prayer walk today, the support we have, then we will tell you the next one we're going to do. We're going to be, might be at three nights. We're not going to do no two nights and one evening, hope mere service no more. Every time we do service, it's three nights. If we have good weather, three nights. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, break two nights. Amen. Sunday morning, church, we rejoice on the morning. Bringing in the sheaves, bringing in souls with us. Amen. So we're going to start with a prayer walk. Nothing happened without prayer. You men last night who signed up that paper, you know what I did? I went home. It's not me. It's God because this is divine. The church is divine. We cannot do what we want on our own. I went home last night, men, and I lay hands on that paper and I prayed for every one of you because we cannot do the work without you. Christ, be responsible. We are accountable for what God has given us to do. So I lay hands and I pray God protection upon you. I pray health and strength upon you. And I pray that you catch your vision. Don't they? That's why I made you sign the paper last night. Amen. And every time we come together, we will sign that paper. We will pray for one for another. We will carry the burden and see us through. For those who endure it to the end. Not for the reason, not for the swift race. Amen. At this time, that we pick up the offering. That we pick up the offering this time. Ushers, could you come please? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Chum, could you just pray for your friend?
the Lord, you all may be seated at this time before Sister Louisa comes to make the announcement. I was told by Pastor Movin to make this announcement first. He wants you all to know that he will be back here this evening with Pastor Roger Luke. Uh, he will be here this evening to minister to you all, so he would appreciate if you all can come back this evening. Amen? Amen. Pastor Roger Luke will be here this evening Amen. and Pastor Movin. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, Louisa. <laughs> 